Hello everybody, I call you blessed in the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice, and I'm going to be glad in it. Welcome to 714 Prayer. <coughs> Excuse me, here we go on another Monday, another day, another week to serve the Lord, to walk with God. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about uh, this morning, is a little bit of a recap from yesterday's service and the way to walk with God is to acknowledge the Lord in all your ways acknowledge God in all your ways I uh, use the illustration about getting out of bed in the morning waking up first thing in the morning and before your feet hit the ground what do you what are you thinking are you thinking about how great God is are you thanking the Lord for the day that's before you? Or are you filled with grumbling? Are you filled with um, complaining about the day that's before you? You see, one is acknowledging God in all of your ways, and the other is acknowledging yourself in all of your ways. And I think that it's just important that we learn how to acknowledge God throughout the day. Excuse me a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throughout the day, no matter what you're going through, no matter what the day may bring you, if you'll bring a praise to the Lord, if you'll have this deep <clears throat> realization that this is the day the Lord's made for you. And if you'll do that, then you're going to say, God is the orchestrator, conductor, architect of my day. I'm going to rejoice in him that no matter what the Lord brings me, whether good comes or whether bad comes, I'm going to make a choice to rejoice. I got a kick out of Diane's mom uh, yesterday and throughout the day, every now and again, and she would look a little bit down or whatever. And I said, what's the matter, mom? And she'd look at me and go, I'm rejoicing. <laughs> she was, uh, Responding to the message that sometimes you just have to make a decision to rejoice. And especially when negative things want to come out of you. When negative things want to come out of your mouth, why don't you try saying things that, will, that are edifying, that are filled with praise, that you may rejoice always and in everything give thanks for this is the will of God for you is what the Bible teaches us. Rejoice always, and in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God for you. We're all going to face wilderness. We're all going to face the desert. We're all going to face storms. We're all going to face bad hair days, if you want to call it that. Uh, it is So that's, that's a given. Trials are going to come. But how do you, how do you walk through the trials? trial what are you saying when you're in the desert what's coming out of your mouth that's in your heart in the middle of the storm are you saying things like this is a day the Lord's made now I'm gonna rejoice and I'm gonna be glad in it I pray that you can see that after especially after yesterday's message that that phrase that I say every single 714 morning this is the day that the Lord has made I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. It's just not some scripture cliche that I love to spit out. No, friends, it's a positive confession and it's, and it's an acknowledgement of God. When someone asks me, whether it's at the gas station or somebody walking down the street or a brother or sister at church, how you doing? And my response is supernatural or I'm doing supernaturally. Let me help you with something. It's a confession of faith and it's a, and an acknowledgement of God in my life, that God is in control of my life. I gotta be careful, I'll start preaching the message all over again. So I, I just kinda wanted to reaffirm that with you today, Monday, the beginning of the week that you start having this journey of acknowledging God in all of your ways, in all of your day. And remember that that's how you walk with God. 
Remember this as well, that you got to keep it in front of you morning, noon, and night. You got to, you can't let, you can't be like the seed that's sown over on the stony ground. You can't be like the seed that's sown over on the wayside. You can't be like the seed that's sown in the thorns and the thistles and the weeds. No, you need to be like the seed that's sown into good ground that germinates in the ground and comes up and breaks forth through the soil and grows and begins to bear fruit. That's walking with God, friends. That's walking with God. And how do you do that? Acknowledge Him in all your ways and find just a couple of ways. Two ways that I shared with you. This is the day I make a choice to rejoice. And I'm going to tell people that I'm doing supernaturally. And, how, and that's not just a confession of faith. That's a fact. Because I am a born-again, spirit-filled child of God. And it doesn't get much more supernatural than that. Amen. Well, praise God. Let's walk in it. Let's do it. Amen. Just do it. <clears throat> Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you for this day beautiful day that you've given us I thank you for all that life holds in store and that you have been so good so good to us so good to me Lord I can't I can't help but do anything but praise you and to thank you for your goodness I praise you Lord I thank you for your goodness and I make a choice to rejoice Lord I thank you that you created this day for me, and therefore I'm going to serve you well in it. And I'm going to rejoice whether good comes or whether bad comes. I promise, Father. I promise, Father. I promise, Lord. No matter what comes, good things are going to come out of my mouth because good things are going to be in my heart. And I pray that that could be the, the case for all of us, Lord that we'd all be in agreement with that course of action for our day. I thank you for that, Lord. I give you praise, I give you honor, and I give you glory. Your good, good Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, I pray that you've been blessed by that. May that be a reminder to you that you can walk with God and do so by acknowledging Him throughout your day. Amen. I can I'm tell you what, I'm looking forward to Wednesday night, uh, 7 o'clock, for a time of worship, a time of prayer, and a time of Bible study. Bring your Bibles, bring a notebook, go buy a journal or a fresh notebook or something and bring it with you on Wednesday night because you're going to want to take notes because I'm going to be encouraging you to go home and check the scriptures and make sure that the things you're being taught are truth. Are truth. I, I pray diligently always lord do not let me err please do not let me err in the teaching of the word help me stay focused in that lord god and i believe that he watches out for me in that respect so bring your bible bring a pen bring a notebook and let's get ready to open the word of god and dig into the nuggets of understanding what jesus wants us to know about the end times and why it's going to be a blessing to you Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, listen, I call you blessed. I pray that you have an amazing week. Miss Diane and I love you. We're so grateful to have you in our lives and for the opportunity for us to be in your life. We're honored by it. We're grateful for it. And forever we praise the Lord for this life that we're able to live in the great adventure with you serving the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Listen, keep your nose in the book. Keep your knees bent to heaven and keep your body in the house of God. You're going to go, you're going to have, you're going to make right decisions every time when you do those three things. Praise God. I call you blessed. I love you. Have a great day.